got started. Okay, started already. I already started. Oops. I'll fix this hair. Can't be a movie star if my hair is all the way in the middle. Okay. I'll brush it. Get my nice brush. Okay. There we go. There she is, Miss America. Hi guys. Hi you guys. Um, I'm here again. I'm here again. And but this time I want to show you. I'm almost finished up with this here um, journal that I'm making for my Avon lady. She's gonna like it. She's gonna deliver my Avon um, on Thursday, so I have to have it done by Thursday. So it'll be done, no problem. And it's turned out pretty good. If you if you ask me, I think it did. So I'm gonna bring you down to showroom floor. There's a couple of fixes I gotta make on it, but um, I'll I'll give you the main idea. Roger, Roger. Okay, now here you go. That's it. This is it. This is the book. This is the book. Now let me show you first. I was having trouble with the spinach, you know. And so what I finally did was I ripped off everything that I had first put on there, and I made another piece. And so what I did was I measured how what because it actually started out an inch wide, but then when I got all the things in it it made it wider here so there was a couple of things that i had to change first of all first of all just a minute i'm gonna reach back here i'm reaching back here to get the other one wait a minute where i put just a minute i gotta stand up jeez when i have to stand up i have too much work for it i'll do it for you all Okay, I'm still looking. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on. Where is that? I don't know where I put it. Wait a minute. I put it in here. Maybe I didn't. You know what? I don't like it. I just don't like it when I clean up my area. The reason being, I clean up my area and then it's harder to find things. And now I don't know where I put my other thing. Okay, well, now, if I can't find it, it's gone. Gone like a gone goose. Okay, but if you remember, see, I can't show you because I got this on there. But if you remember, what I did was I put each envelope, glued it to a flat. I mean, to one of these little accordion folds. Do you remember? I did that with a, the score tape double-sided tape okay I did that and then I went back on this side and I went in all the valleys and I put glue I put I glued all the valleys the one thing that's ch that had to change was when I glued the valleys see because you can see up in here there's like let me see. So I can get just right. See, you can see that there's nothing. This isn't glued to anything, this binding right there. And in those valleys, I put glue all the way in there. But what uh, on the back, not on the inside, but on the back. But what you gotta remember, what I learned is I can't glue all the way. To the top of the valley. I only set a little bit of glue along the bottom of the crease. Let me see. Do I have that little? No, I lost that too. Good grief, I'd lose my mind if it wasn't glued inside my head. But, um, okay, let me just, let me just give you, let me see. We folded it. Now this, of course, is not going to be right, but we have we uh, fo we folded that spine like an accordion, all right, and then we taped the pages, like one right there, and then one right there, and one right there, and so on and so forth, and then I 
turned it over after all the envelope pages was glued on there. I turned it here and I glued inside these valleys and squashed it together like that, just smashed it. And then it folded, the, the um, pages folded very nicely. Okay, but what I found was when I started putting the the embellishments in and the extra papers to cover the the um the envelopes that this was too tight that all that glue so I had to go in I went in with my bone folder and 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 separated that glued area some but I found that what you need to do is put just a fine little bit of glue at the very bottom of that valley close it up like this and and let that dry but it would still open like half of that will still open and then you have room it, it then it will have room to expand but it'll still it'll still hold together but it has room to expand by only gluing the bottom half of that half inch the bottom hat does that make any sense heck nobody no things make sense when lizzie beth tells you my dad just called me lizzie beth but anyhow my grandma called me lizzie beth day because she's finished and i guess that's how you say but see down in that fold see how that black line is just down in that fold that's like where the glue i put the glue and then squish it and in each one of them folds just a little bit of glue down inside that back. This is the back of the spine. This is the front where the where the envelopes go. So I hope that makes some kind of sense. I don't know. You can come over to my house and I can show you. Now, um, okay, so I'm not sure on my last video how far I went, but I I um I finished up by putting the the papers on on the the um, waterfall pages. I put I put some photo mats, but I didn't put anything extravagant like this. Is got a lot of busy going on. I didn't put busy papers with busy. I put less busy. Because now if you put a photograph on here, you don't want it to be real busy around because then that takes away from the actual picture there. And so that, that's why those are just like unbusy. And then I put, and then I left this top part just with the craft. And that way she can write, she can do journaling at the tops up here as to, you know, about the picture, she can journal. And so, <coughs> and I, <coughs> excuse me, I put some of the photos that I had printed out on Italy. I put this on the flap there. I, um, oh, on the front, I put a hitching post. Those little posts that Tim Holtz has, it's like a little hitch. It screws on. I love them things. Those are just awesome. So see, it's got a screw loose. It's got a screw loose. No, I have a screw loose. There's a screw there, and it screws that hitch right on there. If you haven't seen them, those are nice, and they go on there really nice, and they look snazzy, and you know snazzy is what we're looking for. Okay, so then I went, and I measured my envelope. I measured the inside of the envelope, uh, the part that you see. And so then this was five and a, no, this one was four and three quarters. I didn't measure, I don't call it that spine. I just measured it to four and three quarters. So I cut the mat at four and a half. And see, so I left that quarter inch off of the sides and off of the bottom, you know, this way and this way. So that when you glued it down there, it would show just the edging, you know, where I had it all inked and stuff. It shows that little bit of inking. I might might have should have inked in black, but 
nah, this is okay, but you could do black. Okay, and then I measured here on this part of the envelope, then you see that's a different size. So you pretty much got to measure each envelope, see, because here the the mat I put down is three inches wide, yet for the this part of the envelope that I was matting was actually three and three quarters, so I cut that to just three and a half. And so it kind of looks like there's a little frame around. Now on inside of each one of the envelope pockets, I made like a little file folder. And then I put writing paper inside as as pages. So she'll be able to write notes about her trip. I think I put one, two, three, four sheets of paper I put in there. And then I just stapled it on the edges. I mean, on the fold, you know. If you have one of them long reach staplers, that works perfectly for that. So each one of the envelopes then has got that file folder in there. Now then, see, every other envelope is is a envelope that is folded in half. And then that's taped in there as well. Now on them, again, the same thing. you got to measure the size of the envelope that you used and then cut the mat a quarter of an inch smaller on each side. And then... Uh, a quarter of an inch smaller lengthwise and widthwise, and then glue it on there. And I didn't get them perfect, but I don't get anything perfect. I, that doesn't bother me. And um, so then I made a tag. I think I'm going to cut these tags down just a hair on the edges because you got to make sure when you put the tag in that it's shoved over to the side because it's not actually sealed in the middle. And so if it's not, if it's not, um, you know, without it being sealed in the middle, then those tags kind of want to scoot to the middle. So I guess I could have put some stitching there or something, and I might do that next time, but I didn't do it on this time. And so then I just made some tags, and again, I used some of the photographs that I, I um, printed out. That's the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And so see, that's in Italy. And then this one is the Colosseum. That's over there in Italy, too. Boy, I was looking at these pictures, and I want to go to Italy now. I'm going to go see this stuff. And then I just put a little bit of string on the tags. Just a little string to give it a little fluff. And all the, the, the pictures, all of the papers I used had something to do with travel. And so see each one, the um, file folder, and each one of those are the same. I just, and I cut that file, those file folders, made the tabs by using my envelope. If you have one of those envelope cutter thingies that you can make envelopes out of, that's what I use to make those tabs. But I think that, I think it turned out nice. I think she's going to like it. I like the... The, the pictures, the, you know, the ships and everything. And like here was a ship that it was too big to fit on here. So I cut it to where I could put half of it there. And the front part of it is here on this side. I think that looks good. I love that paper. I think it's so cool. And again here, now here's another picture of something, something over there in Italy. I got to look up the name. I'm not sure where that was. But again, with just the, just putting the papers on there, you know, just simple, simple, not busy papers to mat these with. So that if you put a photograph on there, the busyness of the paper won't distract from the photograph. So always when you mat, always when you mat your waterfall pages, use something you want to put something on there but you don't want to put something that's so busy that you know if i had to put that ship over here well then someone might not put a picture there because they didn't want to cover up the ship you know that kind of thing and or if it was really like colorful 
then if it was like real busy, you know what I mean by busy. I think you do anyway, but you know, if if the pic if the page paper was like this up here, then if you put a photograph on there, it would clash. That's it. You know, clash. I don't want it to clash. Okay. Now what I first did here. Now this I put one of these bands around now and it fits on there fine okay, but it's pulled kind of tight and so that's where I decided that that was a fail because now when she puts photographs in there it's going to make it even thicker so that's why I say fail and I'm taking that out I'm taking this out of here because this is not long enough. So I am removing that. See, these are made, I think these are Tim Holtz too. They're just a, elastic. And then they got these metal pieces, one on either like an egglet on a shoestring, but it's made to, is that what they call them things on the shoestrings? I might have that word wrong, but um, because I've been wrong once before. And um but see, I like these. These are really cool, but this is going to be too short. So that's why I had to go back to the drawing table. And then I punched three holes in here. And they're not even lined up because I didn't do too well there either. That was a fail. And so then I had found, like, this is the weirdest thing. This is perfect stuff I was going to use and make something. I bought this over to the thrift shop. And it's... And it's a little old because even when I look at the packaging, it said it sold for 19 cents. So that's old. <coughs> but then when I stretch it to see if it would hold up, I see that it's kind of dry rot. <coughs> so I'll still use it. I might make little bows or something, but it, I wouldn't be able to use it for something that may be stretched because it'll break. So that must be old. But that was only black I had. Now this thing here I got over to the thrift shop too. Now this is brown. I give 20 cents for this one. Its original price was 39 cents. And now I don't think you can get, I don't know, I haven't priced this kind of stuff. Soft and easy seam binding. But anyhow, I don't think you can get it for 39 cents. Nobody. So, yeah. So I I buy what I can get over there to the thrift shop, and um, but sometimes it's jeez, I can't get that off of it. Sometimes it's just old, I guess. I don't know. And so, oh, here we go. Now I'm cooking on gas. I'm getting it now. All right. I had a good day today. I've been feeling a little under the weather for like the last two weeks. And, but today I feel like I'm so happy today. And today my husband took me on an adventure. I don't drive no more. So my, oh yeah, this won't break. That's tough. That's some tough stuff right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this is I don't even know. Oh, but I'm telling you, I went... First, we went to the wall market, and I did some shopping. I drove my little cart around in there. I just love to drive that little cart. I, the first time I ever drive that cart is um, I just got scared to death, and I just parked it, and I couldn't shop. because. But I used the cart because I'm old, and, um, and, and I got the arthritis in places I didn't even know I had places. But you know what I read the other day in something that did you know that if you eat a lot of carrots, that the carrots will help arthritis. So if any of you's got the arthritis, re eat some carrots. Yeah, eat some carrots. I don't know if it works, but I sure did have carrots with my lunch because we went to the Cracker Barrel. I don't know if you guys have Cracker Barrels up there in the states that you live in, but we have Cracker Barrel and, and um, 
we went to the Cracker Barrel and we ate. I had some chicken and dumplings. I had a piece of ham because I got the um, what they call the sampler, and it had chicken and dumplings. It had ham and it had meatloaf, and I had mashed potatoes and gravy, and I had green beans, and I had carrots and a muffin. Well, I ate half of it while I was there, but then you get a little doggy box, and I brought the rest home. I'm gonna have that for dinner. Okay, that's just what we did there. We eat. It was an adventure. We don't go out to eat much, so, I mean, we don't hardly ever go out to eat. So, for that reason, I was excited. It was like a date. And then we went to the Tuesday morning, and um, we went to the Tuesday morning, and I was looking for little bits and bobs there, you know, because you never know what they have over to the Tuesday morning, which I did get a, a I did, did get a, a dye that I was wanting because Tim Holtz has this dye that's houses, you know, just houses. It's one of the biggest dyes. And um, and they had that there. And so I got that. And I got me some washi tape. And I, I don't know what I got, actually. It was pure impulse shopping. And that is fun to do, especially when you've been out of the weather, under the weather. A little shopping trip makes everything better okay now i just tied a knot in here while i was chatting wait, i have a bruise on my hand okay wait a minute okay i just tied a knot in there and i tied the knot in there for right in the middle i thought that's not the middle but close enough close enough close enough now i'm going to because i have three holes Okay, I'm going to shove these. Oh, watch me not be able to shove them both through that hole. I might have to make a bigger hole. I do believe, I do believe in spooks. I do think I might have to make a bigger hole for this. Because I have to make a whole different kind of a, oh yeah, that's going to be have to be bigger. So I'm going to take my crocodile here and find the bigger hole. There's the bigger hole. Okay, now. Wait, I gotta pull that junk out of there so I can see. Gee, my goodness. Okay. Just trying to give you a hard time. Just a minute. I'm getting this stuff out of that hole so I can see. Oh, there you go. I got it out. Now I can see. So I'm gonna go over that hole that I punched there and with the bigger hole and make a bigger Ugh. hole. Gosh. My papa that he put. I used to have Popeye the Sailor Man muscles, but not no more. Not no more do I have them. Okay, now let's see. I tied that knot in there so that I can put both these ends in through. Oh, wait a minute. Do I want it to go this way or do I want it to go that way? Let me try it this way. I think I can do it this way. Okay, yeah, both of them fit through right nice. Okay, and it'll only go through as far as that knot. That knot will keep it from going any further. There we go. So that knot is there. Kind of looks like a brown flower. All right, now I'm going to take this one end, and I'm going to put that one end through here. Maybe I'll have to make a big hole there, too. I don't know. I'm not real good at this hole here. Yeah, I'm putting a bigger hole there, too. What the heck? You know, you know I can do it. I know I can do it. I can make a bigger hole. Put that little pokey thing and get that out of there. Now I'm going to make a bigger hole right here. Okay. And there she's got it. Now... Go to this. See, the other hole is in between them two pictures. I mean, pages. Not pictures. Well, they might be pictures later, but right now they're just pages. Doggone it, that stuff. Is doggone it my custom? I don't think so. I hope not, because otherwise I'd have to put a quarter in the cost job. And, um, although people have not been paying me a quarter, so I usually charge family 25 cents in the cuss jar when they cuss and then that adds up and it gives me more spending money 
for the craft store, but they haven't been paying. I say 25 cents in the craft store, and they don't put it in, and... But don't worry, I'll keep it a running tab, and one day, they're gonna pay up. Yeah. My son does the most cussing. He thinks that some of those words are just natural. You just can say them whenever you want to, but... And no! I told him, no way. Jose, 25 cents in the cuss jar. I'm, and I'm collecting. I'm collecting. Okay, now I got both of those ribbons pulled up. Now I put the knot in that middle one, so that holds there, and then those. Now, you know what? I might want that to go the other way, so that the ribbon, although that looks kind of nice right there, but I, I might, I wonder if this will work. Or if that would, you know, I, what do you think? I like it. I think it'll be okay. So if, now, if I put this and tie it, actually, I can tie it loosely. I wonder, well, hmm. I wish you guys could talk to me. I wish you guys would talk to me. You know what I'm going to do sometime, one of these days, I'm going to do a live stream so y'all can talk to me because I ask you questions and I don't know what you're saying because I can't read through the, okay, I'm just going to make it a knot. Do I want it right there? Yeah. So I just put a square knot. So that's going to be there for life. Okay, so I made a square knot and then I'll just tie like a little bow. I learned about square knots when I was in the Girl Scout. I used to be a Girl Scout leader back in the day when my girls were little. Now my girls are all three of them in the four, their forties, in their forties. So there, now that's cool. And I'll just chop this right off here. We'll chop that right there. And chop this right here. I really should have did it with my little ribbon cutter thing because it burns the edges. Now that doesn't look bad, does it? That looks good. And then that's more space. That gives her more space when she starts because I'm thinking, you know, when she's over there in Italy pretending she's like an Italian that she can um that she can just put like in the envelopes she can put like tickets or receipts or little things in all them envelopes and there's four envelopes so that that'll hold a lot of stuff and um but it'll get thicker so this will work i think this will work just fine and i kind of like that little brown bow and and, and i would have liked black because it would have matched this black but it's okay like this but oh and let me tell you too what I did was when I got done with my filling with embellishments inside, I measured the width that I had back here. And I measured that width and then I cut the um I cut a piece of cardstock, the slint like this, and then I cut it the width plus two inches. You could go you know, so I would have an inch here and an inch here. But you could go to where you have three quarters of an inch and three quarters of an inch. It actually has how it turned out. I got less on that side than I do on this side. So, it, you know, it, that doesn't matter either. You know, this is a homemade something. So you don't want it to be, like, perfect. And so, because then once I punched the edging, then, of course, it came a little bit less. It came a little bit less. And then I took the whole shoot and match, I mean this, the whole piece of black paper then, I took that, you see the lines in it, I put it on the, on my Martha Stewart scoreboard. Now, I have, also have the Scorpel scoreboard, but it doesn't, it doesn't have those eighth of an inch lines where the Martha Stewart does. And I went ahead and scored all the way down, all the whole width of it.
And so once I had that thing, and I scored every eighth of an inch, because it scores every eighth of an inch. And so I scored it every eighth of an inch, and it made it kind of rounded. It. And so it kind of really looks like a binding. And I like that. Now, I'm going to still add just a couple more things in here because I've got some, you know, just, I've got a, a, a few little doodads, you know, like this one says sweet escape and stuff. I'm going to put them in there somewhere, just a few, just a few. And then I, I'm going to find the names of each one of those images that's in there that I don't know what they're, because I know this one, when I copied it onto my computer, it copied the name of what it was, too. So I can go look and see where this is. I'd like to see that. Isn't that beautiful? All the colors. And so I'll, and I'm going to put those down here. I'll make a little tab, a little doohick. I'll make a doohick and put that there. But I wanted to show you this and try to explain to you my mistakes that I had to fix. And so, but I think I have my mistakes fixed, okay? And I think my Avon lady is going to be excited because she doesn't even have a clue. She doesn't even know that she's any more than that Avon lady to me. But she's my friend because cause she's my Avon lady friend. And so she's going to like this. So anyhow, that's it for this here video. I'm going to turn you loose so you can get to whatever you got to do. Water the plants. I don't know what you guys got planned to do. And you know water. Uh, Water the plants, I guess. I don't know. Make some coffee. Fix your cup of coffee. Have a piece of apple pie. I don't know. There's things you can do. Okay. So that's it. That's it. Okay. Now I'm looking straight into the lens. And um, so you can see me. I'm sure you want to see me. Heck yeah, buddy. <coughs> <coughs> so that's it. Oh, you know what I got at Tuesday morning today? We never use this stuff. It's called stencil paint. And I thought, well, I wonder how that works. And so it's Firefly stencil paint, semi-gloss acrylic. They only had four colors, so I bought one of each. One of each coat. I'm going to try that. I bought that. And then in the office department, they had these mini binder clips. I bought them for my sale. Bought paint. And binder clips. How about them? And um, school supplies are now on sale. They're starting to the Walmart. They got school supplies. Me, there's a lot of stuff there that you have. Got me some Elmer's glue. Elmer's glue. Got that over there to the Walmart. And um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah. See, look. Well, I got me a couple of these here glue sticks. I use them sometimes. But they feed the sand. You know, feed the sand. You can't beat that. And then look at this big honking pack of index cards. There's some with colors, but mostly whites. And I like index cards. There's amazing. This is a lot of them. Let's see. 300 of them little boogers is in there. 300. So, yeah, I bought me some of them there index cards because I like them. And I never did find my staples, which I lost my staples. And I, so I bought me some new staples. And now I'll probably find my staples. So I know I got a box full of them somewhere. But every once in a while, I get the itch to clean and organize things. And then I can't find a flipping thing until I get them all on that kind of thing. But um, that's all I have to say about that. I don't think I have anything to show you. No, I don't think so. Everything's about the same as it was yesterday. Okay, well, maybe tomorrow. What is this? Oh, that was the feed store. Oh, yeah, we had to go buy chicken feed. $29.50 for chicken feed. Yeah, well, we get them corn and we get, we spoil, we got the most expensive eggs ever. Yeah, but anyway, we got eggs. <laughs> Oh, Lord, 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 Lord. Sometimes I just crack myself right up. All right. That's all I have to say about that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go now. I hate being quiet, though. See, so it's fun talking to you. But um, I'm going to let you go. And um, thanks for stopping by. I wish that I had a, you know, if I knew you were coming, I'd have baked a cake. But I didn't know you were coming, so I didn't bake a cake. So, you know what? 
what time is it? 8.21. I think I might eat my leftovers from the Cracker Bail. I think I'm now hungry. I think I'm going to do that. Have me a cup of coffee. All right. Like I said, thank you for coming by. If you live in the area, stop by, you know. Yeah, I'd love to see you. And um, in real life, I'd like to see you in real life. Okay, that's all. I'm. Oh, did I already say that I was going to go? Oh, yeah, I did say that. Okay, I'm going to go for real now and um, take care of things. And um, and thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video. And um, thank you for um, everything. Just thank you for being there. And, and also, God bless you. And um, be nice to people. And people, be nice to you. We had a really nice waitress today. I got to call that number and tell them, tell them how nice she was. Kudos to that girl. She was, her name was Alexandria. All right. Okay. I'm going for real this time. I'm losing. Okay. Um, I have like that, um, what is that? What is that disease that I have this disease that you get when you can't stay, your mind just jumps from idea to idea. It's like, um, now I can't remember what it's called. Maybe I could get Ritalin or something. <laughs> To fix that. What is that called when you, your mind just jumps from idea to idea and you lose track in the middle of a sentence and start another story? That's me. Okay. Love you guys. God bless you. God bless you, every one of you, for your whole life. Okay. Now I'm going to say goodbye. I, oh, here I got to find my little mouse. My little, oops, that's backwards. I got a backwards mouse. Okay. And so I'm going to go ahead and let you go now. Love you guys. How much time? 36 minutes. Okay. And goodbye. And I'll see you again. Maybe tomorrow I'll see you. I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Love you.